so you know, this is our first interview. I've been doing interviews for Heard It on the Shark for about four years now. We've never done one on YouTube. So Julia here is a guinea pig. You guys are our guinea pig. We're just going to try and see what happens. So forgive us if it's not all that great. Okay. Um, and I was not forewarned. <laughs> <laughs> no, Julia had no, no warning at all. She just walked in. But we'll do anything for Melinda. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Okay. Um, hey, shark fans. It's Melinda with another episode of Heard It on the Shark. And today in Sun Bear Studio, I have Miss Julia McDowell with me, who is the manager of the Pontotoc Farmer's Market. Julia, thanks for driving over today. Well, you're very welcome. Anytime. We love to be here and... Uh, love to be on the radio and welcome to all the new YouTube fans. Julia, is manager the right word? Yes, market manager. Market manager. Okay, now I'm not just saying this. That farmer's market is fantastic. I love everything you guys do. Um, I discovered you last year, I believe, and you have grown. It's like you've grown five years in one year. Y'all are so you were already great and you're even better now so i'd like to just be quiet and let you tell about some of the programs that you guys have at the farmers market right well absolutely we have grown so we started a couple of years ago uh, looking at our county and observing all of the produce growers the ag producers and watching all of the different farmers markets that these producers are going out to and and selling in and we thought why not just bring them back into our county so we started making phone calls, talking to folks, and getting people back in in line to sell at our market. And last year this time, we started with less than 10 producers. And our opening day, we started with 27. Oh, our gosh. second day, we were over 30. And I expect over 30 to be at the market again um, for our third Saturday. We have over 50 producers registered with us. Uh, I think about 15 uh, to 18 are ag producers or produce growers, another 11 ag producers, another 10 bakers, and about 10 um, artisans and makers on top of that. So over 50 so far and we get applications every week. Okay, so you have 30 already and things aren't even coming in yet. No, we had um, first squash made its appearance on the third Saturday. So yes, yeah, summer produce will really get rolling first of June. Okay, so for one thing, there's a whole lot more than produce there. It is a fantastic farmer's market. Now, I don't like going to a farmer's market and there's everything but produce. You, do, you guys don't have that. You have all sorts of produce everywhere. But even on top of that, you have such great bakers, such great um, artists. Your artists are good. Yes. That's fun. You guys have honey. Your own... Um, company has honey, right? My husband is a beekeeper, yes. He has Valley Road Honey Farm. Uh, we grow produce and uh, we have honey as well. Yeah, your honey is good. We, we You gave me some last year and it was fantastic. And actually, um, you have a product that you put on your hands. It's an orange flavored, uh, like a hand cream, and I still use it. It's fantastic. Oh, I'm glad you like mm -hmm. it. It's yes. wonderful. I mean, it's lasted a whole year so it's it's great bee bee wax hand bob right it's made from our treatment free bee balm okay and um shea butter and yes natural ingredients and orange yes okay talk to everybody about the ways that you make it easy to buy because we all know that just in general groceries are sky high this year and Fresh produce is always the worst. It's always the most expensive. So say how you've helped people buy on a budget. Yes, absolutely. Well, um, part of our initiative at the market is not just to have produce at the market, but to try to get produce on every plate. So we um, sponsor nutrition programs at the market, which is uh, what you did ask me about earlier. Um, and um, those are to help folks buy the produce at the market. Now, 
on average, um, if you look at the price of produce in a grocery store compared to what you see in a farmer's market, it's not always more expensive. Sometimes that is just a um, misperception of, of what's at a farmer's market. Um, but there are things that are a little more expensive. It just depends on, on what you're looking for. So you can go to a market and buy on a budget. And we work to help you do that too. So you can come to our welcome table. We'll point you in the right direction. If you have SNAP, which is our form of food stamps in Mississippi, and you have a SNAP card issue to you, bring that to our welcome table. We will run that for you in any amount you want. And you can spend that on our baked goods, on our cottage foods, which is our jams and jellies and pickles, and any of our baked goods, of course, and of course, any of our produce. And we will also give you an extra dollar for every dollar you run on your SNAP card. And that's part of our Double Up Food Bucks program. So that is a free uh, service to you. And we can give you up to $20 every market day to help you buy produce. Um, and then we also, except the USDA senior vouchers. We'll start giving those out the 1st of June. Uh, they're gonna increase from 30 to $50 this year. Oh, that's and good to know. Absolutely, we're really excited about that. The program is growing and there'll be even more vouchers available to give out. So those vouchers, um, you'll come to our market to register for those and they can be used at our market and a, a couple of others in the area as well. And you'll just bring those to our vendors and they run them like a credit card. And this year you don't have to buy in $5 increments, you can buy in $1 increments. So they'll be much easier to use. Do you know the age at which you become eligible for that? I believe it is 60. It's uh, hardly a senior if you ask me, but uh, yes, yeah, 60 or older to be eligible for those. The minute I turn 60, I'm going to spend my whole $50 on purple right. whole peas. Right. And we sell those by the bushel. <laughs> we have, not only do we have purple whole peas coming in this year by the bushel fulls, I mean hundreds of bushels we're expecting to come in, um, but we also have brown crowder we're expecting and zipper cream, some, and different varieties of purple whole peas too. Do you have a, a corn guy that comes in when the, that corn comes in at the end of the year? Do you have somebody in the truck bed that's got ears and ears of corn? We do. We have a couple of producers um, that are for sure bringing corn to the market. And I talked to another one last week. We may even have three. So there will be plenty of corn coming in. And you guys have added live music every week. Last year we had live music. We tried to do it every other Saturday. Um, this year we have a sponsor, Mississippi Hills National Heritage Area, and they are sponsoring our heritage music at the market. So um, that helps us to give a performer stipend for those performers who are coming. So every Saturday we have live music and uh, sometimes we even have an opener. So we have uh, local bands that'll come in and, and play for an hour before our, our main performer gets on stage. So uh, it really adds to the atmosphere and, and makes it a, a super fun day. Okay, now I know a lot of people like me like the Southern Cultured Creamery people. Right. Tell me about when they are gonna be at the market. Well, we are working to get them at the market on Wednesdays. Right now, they have a lot to do on Saturdays and they have their new farm store down in Algoma and they're not able to get to the market on Saturday morning. So we are working to get them on Wednesdays. We're gonna open up the Wednesday market in the afternoon from three to six, as soon as all the summer produce starts. So sometime around mid-June, but you can check in on our Facebook page on Instagram. Um, if you follow us on Facebook, then you will get those updates and, and you'll know uh, when things like that are getting started. And Wednesday afternoons will be, um, I think, a really good addition to our market. It'll help those folks who can't make it out on Saturday mornings. Yeah. And um, we have so many produce growers now that they can't just harvest once a week. They need to harvest twice a week. And so that helps them get the, the produce out. Saturday morning, early, like 7 till 7 a.m. 7 till they sell out. That's right. We're usually wrapping up around 11. Okay. And then Wednesday afternoon. 3 to 6. 3 to 6. Okay. Not till June? Right. Okay. When June starts, you'll do that because that's when all the produce is there. Exactly. Okay. And you guys got a new sign recently too. Oh my goodness. Great. Yes. Yes. So um, our local uh, welder, Wilder Welling, Welding, put up a sign for us. So it is our new gateway sign. You'll have to come and check it out. It's beautiful. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Julia, what have I not asked you about? So we are located right in between our historic 
Court Square and the Tanglefoot Trail. Uh, the Pontotoc is the midway point of the Tanglefoot Trail. And uh, so if you're biking down the trail and you run through Pontotoc, just realize you are about a block away from our market. Uh, we are really easy to find and uh, great access. Um, we have yoga every morning. So get out yoga every Saturday morning now starting about 730. So if you're biking down the trail and you want to stop in for yoga, we have extra mats. It is free to uh, anybody who would like to join. She is a certified yoga instructor from Sassafras Yoga. And um, yeah, you guys have thought of everything. Yes. Oh, it's so great. I'm so excited. Well, I cannot wait to join you at the market on some Saturday when I can get myself out of the bed and down to Pontotoc <laughs> at 7.30 in the morning. I hope to do that soon. Oh, well, we would love to see you. And stop by the welcome table for information and uh, programs, activities that are going on. We also have a farmer's table that we set up most Saturdays for culinary education. So we may have kale tasting. We may have tomato plant giveaway. We may have sourdough starter information canning information. We do all kinds of things at the, the farmer's table. So it, that's a fun place to stop by and um, see what's going on at our market as well. Yeah, I generally like to just wander through and not get instructions. You know, I just like to see it, see whatever I see. But I did go to your table, to your what did you call it? The farmer's table? The farmer's table. I went by and I got all the information and it helped me not miss out on things that I wouldn't have realized were there because you guys have so much going on in such a small space that you don't want to miss anything. So it is very helpful. And I follow you on Facebook. So that is also helpful to know what's coming up. So right, I recommend right, that. Absolutely. And don't bother eating breakfast before you come. We oh. have an absolutely wonderful food truck called the Blue Plate Food Truck, and they serve artisan oh. brunch. It is, um, it's an artistic endeavor yeah. by Chef Amanda. It is absolutely wonderful. Oh, love Blue Plate. Okay, that is, golly, that you, we just really need to come on down to talk and spend the weekend. I just think it'll be great. Absolutely. It'll be awesome. Okay, this is Julia McDowell, who is the manager of the Pontotoc Farmer's Market. She has driven over to Ripley from Pontotoc today to talk to us, and I really appreciate you coming. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Okay, Shark fans, that's it for this edition of Heard It on the Shark. Tune in every Tuesday at 11 to find out what's going on from local community leaders. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for an interview, or if you want access to this interview, go to our website, shark1023.com, and click on the Interview tab. Keep it tuned to the Shark 1023, and have a great rest of the day. Step back in time at Tom's Soda Shop, 106 West Main Street in Baldwin. Tom serves the classics. Bluebell milkshakes, juicy burgers, patty melts, hand-cut fries. Plus, we got all-American breakfast plates, buttermilk pancakes, and cinnamon rolls to start your day. We're open Monday through Friday, 6 till 2, and Saturday, 8 till 2. With golden oldies on the jukebox and a friendly staff just waiting to serve you, come join us for a mighty fine breakfast and lunch at Tom's Soda Shop.